Hey everyone, so today's tutorial is this lace mask effect makeup. You may have seen the filter on Snapchat last week and that's where I got the idea from. So I've already done my base makeup, I'm going to go straight to the eye makeup. I'm using Constructivist Paint Pot by MAC. So this is a warm brown with a metallic finish. You can use these as bases for your eyeshadow or you can just use them as your eyeshadow itself. As you can see they're highly pigmented and they blend brilliantly. So I've applied this all the way over the mobile eyelid, so from the lash line up to where the eye naturally creases and then I'm working a blending brush through that crease so that the colour fades upwards. It really doesn't take a lot of effort to blend this out because the product is super creamy. Once I've blended the first layer out, I'm then going in with a second layer just to build up that opacity and then I'm going to blend it out again. Now if you've only got normal eyeshadows that's absolutely fine, don't worry too much because we are going to be going over this with a black. You do want to brown underneath your black so that it doesn't give off a bluey greeny tone. I'm taking a matte brown eyeshadow called Coco Bear. This is a kind of rusty brick shade and I'm using a small fluffy crease brush to work that into the socket of the eye. On the Snapchat filter the eyelid was quite dark with really thick lashes and just above that you could see a nice coppery kind of brown shade through the socket. Don't worry too much about your blending, we are going to be going over this with the eyeliner to give it the lace effect. On my E24 flat shader brush I'm working some of that constructivist eyeshadow underneath the lower lashes. And then over that and pulling the colour downwards I'm using the Coco Bear on the fluffy crease brush. So again this is all going to be slightly hidden underneath the lace effect but it is going to give you that soft smoke to the eyes. I'm taking my black coal pencil by Zoeva and I'm going to run that across the waterline of both the eyes. If you're looking for a super soft pencil that really gives you that dark inky effect then you definitely have to check this pencil out, it's in their black box collection. Going in with another Makeup Geek eyeshadow, this one is called Corrupt and it's a matte black. Using a small detailer brush I'm going to work that over the top lid, concentrating the majority of the colour at the lash line and then using what's left on the bristles to work that over the mobile eyelid. If you only want to go with a wash of black over the eyelid then use a fluffy blending brush to apply it because the bristles are splayed out you're going to get less concentration of colour on your skin. If you want something that's really intense then use something like a flat shader brush because the bristles are closer together and that's going to allow you to apply more colour to the skin. Use what's left of the bristles on this brush to run underneath the lower lash line just to smoke it out a little bit more. Going back in with a small amount of that constructivist eyeshadow and pulling that down from the socket towards the lash line to make sure everything blends seamlessly. I'm going to move on to the mask and come back to the eyes at the end. I'm taking my Krylon face liner pen in black and I'm going to map out the shape of the mask. I took a screenshot of the filter on my face and then I'm using that as my reference image to map out exactly where I want it to go. Now when you're working on something so intricate it can take a lot of time, I mean a lot of time, so try not to be too OCD about it and make everything perfect. At this stage if you make a mistake it's not a problem because it is pencil you can just use your finger to wipe over it and it will remove it from the skin and you can just redraw your section. But when it comes to inking over this with your eyeliner you are going to make mistakes, you are going to get thicker lines but don't worry about it. Just keep going, drawing in all the lines and all the intricate work that you can as fast as you can so it doesn't take you too long and I promise you the end result is still going to be awesome. So once you've got the basic shape it's time to go in with your eyeliner. I started off by using this one by Lancome, it's great because the tip of it is like a foam and it's really bendable but it's quite expensive and I realised I was going to use quite a lot of the product so I decided to switch it up and use a Sigma one because it was a little bit cheaper. So this took me about 90 minutes so you can forgive me for having to speed this up for you. I'm literally just following the initial lines that I've created for my mask. Then once I've got the outline on the top half I'm going to start working into the mask following the design that's on my reference image. I found the best way to do this is to work from the top of your mask downwards because if you start at the bottom your hand is then going to rub off of the cheek areas so start at the top and work your way down. And again I can't stress that it can take a while to do this so patience is key. Get the initial work done and then go back in at the end and tidy up any of the areas that need that extra bit of attention. As you can see I'm adding in different types of lines, I'm adding in small dots, all these things are going to make it look quite intricate. So there's not really much more for me to explain as such, I am literally following the reference image, copying the lines and shapes that I see on the photo. Again sorry if it's sort of flicking from one section to the other quite quickly, it's just I have to cut out all the small breaks in between, there's pauses while I'm looking at the reference image etc. So it's the best way to do it to prevent it from being a 90 minute video. So I'm going to let you watch the process and I'll come back when I've got something else that I need to explain.
my mask straight off but if you're going out on a night out wearing this for Halloween for instance then you'll want to make sure it goes straight into your hairline that way you won't be able to see where the mask starts allow the brush to do its own thing so if it follows the natural curves of your face it's going to make it look like the lace is sitting on the curves of your skin now we've completed the lace section of this mask, I'm going back to the eyes and at this stage I feel like they need to be a little bit darker so I'm going in with a mix of the two colours we've already got on the lid just to deepen them and make that smokiness more prominent. I'm also reapplying Cocoa Bear through the socket of the eye and again I'm using that same brush that I used earlier, the small crease brush. And as we're following our reference image this colour really does need to be visible. I'm also taking that underneath the lower lashes. I'm taking that same brush and a contour colour and I'm working that down the sides of my nose and this is just going to add a little bit of shading around the mask making it look like it's actually sitting around the natural contours of my face. Off camera I'm applying these lashes by Certify and these are called Callisto. Next I'm taking my Laguna bronzer by NARS and I'm applying this into the hollows of the cheeks and pulling the colour up. This is just going to create a bit more structure to my cheekbones and the brush I'm using is the 127 brush by Zoeva. For lips I'm using my Velvet Matte Pencil by NARS and this is in the colour Mysterious Red. It's odd that I chose to use a red lip with this because the day I filmed it the filter didn't have a lipstick colour. The next day after I filmed it the filter then had red lips so it's quite a good coincidence that I chose red. So I hope you guys all love this look. For me I absolutely adore it. It's great for Halloween or fancy dress or a masquerade ball or anywhere that requires a mask whereby you physically don't want to have to wear one. Let me know what you thought in the comment section below and please give the tutorial a thumbs up. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. If you missed my previous tutorials you can click on these now and it will take you to those. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and they are at Show Me Makeup. You can also follow me on Snapchat at Shona Scott. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye!